Hey guys, welcome to the chapter 13 of the Substrate course. In this tutorial, we're talking about smart contracts. So we learn how to build a smart contract project, how to deploy smart contracts, and how to interact with smart contracts. So there are going to be three stages to this tutorial. Now, in the previous tutorials, we've learned all about nodes and blockchains. So how to start your own nodes, how to customize nodes by adding pallets to them, how to build your own blockchain. We, we know about parachains and relay chain by now. But what about the applications that are built on top of these blockchains, right? So in this tutorial, we learn about smart contracts or applications that run on these blockchains. They could be running on a parachain, could be on a relay chain, or could be on your own chain that you build or yourself. So before we get started, we need the Rust Up tool, right? So the Rust Up tool, by now, since we have completed many tutorials together, you would have installed the Rust Up tool. In case you haven't, please go ahead and install it, the Rust Up tool, in case you are joining in right now directly and you've not seen the previous videos. So feel free to join, uh, or install the Rust Up tool. And then after you have the Rust Up tool, you need something called as the Rust SRC compiler. So I'll go ahead and add that. So in my case, it says it's up to date, so that's perfect. And I need the Cargo CLI tool. So here, as you can see now, I'm installing the Cargo contract or the Cargo contract CLI tool. This will help me uh, create uh, a smart contract project and also interact with it. This is like a CLI tool that you need. So as you can see here, uh, it was able to um, install it. Okay. And now what we'll do is I'll just go ahead and clear. I was just waiting for it to install. Okay, I've done that. And now just to check if it has been installed, just run cargo contract help. So if you get the command for help, that means uh, if you get some output, that means it was it's uh, there, it's installing your system. Now what you need is the substrate contracts node, right? So this is a special node for substrate. So we have already installed nodes before, but this, this uh, the contracts node is a special node that has the frame palette uh, already installed. So what we'll do is we will uh, run the command, right? And here, the, the part with the latest tag, this is what you have to replace. So in my case, what I can do is I can go to the releases page so in the releases substrate contract nodes releases page, the latest one is version 0.25.1. So that's the one I'm going to be using here in the tag, version 0.25.1, okay. And this again takes a while to load or to install that tool. So it's going to install the substrate contracts node. All right, so finally, we were able to finish it, this. It took, it took a lot of time, but then it finished. Um, and so now just to check if everything works perfectly fine, you just go and type this command, which is substrate contracts node minus minus version. So in my case, I have 0.25.1 substrate contracts node, which is the one that I installed. So that's perfect. Now in my other terminal, um, in, in any other folder, you can create, you can first see that there's nothing there, you can create a contract. So the, with the tool that we just installed, we'll create a new contract. So here it'll show you that you ha it has created flipper project for you. So if you cd into flipper and ls minus al, and you'll see all of the things that are there in the project. Okay, so this is why we installed the tool because this tool, uh, cargo contract enables the with the CLI, it enables you to create new uh, smart contract projects. And if you um, check out the lib.rs file, it has the complete smart contract written for you with the flipper uh, struct and the flipper function as well, implementation of the flipper. So it has the flip function and the get function, which you can explore in more details in the in the code itself. So it's created it, uh, it's created a smart contract for you, which you can deploy and interact with. Okay. So just to see if everything is fine with the smart contract, you just run cargo test. So this will run the tests, and it'll give you the report as in if any tests failed or passed. So in our case, it says zero failed and two. Past. So result, test results are okay. Now you can go ahead and build the contract before we deploy it. So this will also take a while. So here you see at the end, you get 
that your contract artifacts are ready, you can find them here, okay? Perfect, so that means everything is fine. Uh, the contract is ready to be deployed. Now to be able to deploy the smart contract that you have just created and tested and compiled, what you want to do is you want to start off the contracts node. So we, if you remember, we just installed the substract contracts node. Node is where which will run and where you will, uh, you know, deploy the smart contracts. So this is your own local node that will run. So to be able to do that, we first need to get the node to be running. So now the road node is running. All right, and now we want to deploy the smart contract. So to deploy the smart contract, what you want to do is you want to uh, instantiate, right? Instantiate that uh, smart contract, and this is how it will work. So this is the co command. You will find all the commands in the chapter uh, thirteen document shared with you. So you have to go ahead and run this command, and here you will get a success message that everything worked perfectly fine. Okay. Now, uh, find out the in, uh, instantiated um, title here in the event contracts and copy the address of the contract, okay? And keep this on like a, on like a notepad or something because we want to interact with the smart contract, okay? So luckily now our smart contract has been deployed, okay? You got success basically. So smart content has been deployed, so congratulations. Now we want to call the get function and the flip function, which are there on our smart contract. We want to, in, we want to uh, interact with our smart contract. So go ahead and uh, enter this command, which basically has get. So if you see here, get, you have get here, which is going to interact with the get function of your smart contract. Now, this is a variable instantiated contract address, which your uh, CLI tool should be able to pick up from this uh, smart contract just before which was just initiated by you. So it should be able to pick it up from there, but sometimes it won't pick it up. So in my case, see it says invalid value, blah, blah, blah. So it's not able to pick up this value, okay? So what I will do instead is I will replace that with the actual value of the smart contract. So instead of using a, an environment variable, I will use the actual value Right, because I had already set the uh, environment variable this uh, just some time back with another address. But even if I uh, replace it with the newest address, it still won't work uh, in my case. So that you might also fa uh, face the similar issue. So just do this, just replace the variable with the actual um, address and you will get a success. So you were able to interact with the, um, with the uh, smart contract function, get function. And now we will interact with the flip function. So go ahead and copy the command for interacting with the flip function. And here you will go ahead and replace the variable with the actual address for the smart contract, the deployed or instantiated smart contract. And when you run this, you get uh, again, success, right? So that means everything is working perfectly and you were not only able to build or create a new smart contract project, you were able to uh, test it and uh, build or compile it, deploy it, and then you were also able to interact with it, okay? So we did multiple things in this tutorial. Um, no matter what the size of a smart contract is uh, or, or what kind of smart contract you're building, the basic steps Will be the same in the sense you have to have a node running to be able to deploy it there you have to build or compile your uh, your smart contracts you have to deploy and then you have to interact with it these are the steps right so thank you for watching in the next video in the next tutorial we'll take things uh, to the next level